There you go, green light and qualifying for the 2021 Belgian Grand Prix finally gets underway. So with pretty much 90 seconds to go in the drop zone and desperately need to get, get, to get out right now is Yuki Tsunoda, Mick Schumacher, Nikita Mazepin, Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel. Can they get out before the end of the session as Lewis Hamilton shoots up to second place? And Pierre Gasly, he will come to the line as Antonio Giovinazzi, I think, has just started another lap. Pierre Gasly goes fifth in the Alpha Tauri. Now Valtteri Bottas, currently sat in ninth, goes up into fourth place. And the next car we're going to see, the Spaniard of Carlos Sainz, down into 13th at the moment, only goes ninth. Sebastian Vettel currently in 20th place, desperately need to get at, uh, needing to get out. He is six seconds slower than Lando Norris is pretty much going to be his last run, one of his last runs, and he goes all the way up into 10th position. So Sebastian Vettel getting himself out in the nick of time. Fernando Alonso jumps up to 12th. A Giovinazzi, Sonoda, Schumacher, Mazepin, Raikkonen now in your drop zone with 15 seconds remaining in qualifying one as Charles Leclerc now up to eighth in the Ferrari. Ricardo currently the driver at risk, most at risk, of course, in 15th has not improved his first sector as Russell goes up to fourth, but he has improved his second sector. Is it enough? He only goes 12th. We'll have to see if that is enough for Ricardo to get himself into the next part of qualifying. Max Verstappen goes back to the top of the timesheets on a 158.7, half a tenth ahead of Lando Norris. Norris, though, coming to the line now. And Norris goes P1 by four tenths of a second. An amazing pace from Lando Norris in the McLaren. And now we wait to see if anyone in the drop zone can get out. Yuki Tsunoda only goes up to 16th. He is out. Kimi Raikkonen, only 19th. He's been out-qualified by a Haas. That's a shocking performance by Kimi Raikkonen. Giovinazzi, only 16th. But that, guys, is Q1 over and done with and knocked out officially Antonio Giovinazzi, Yuki Tsunoda, Mick Schumacher, Kimi Raikkonen, and Nikita Mazepin. Anyway, Q2 is now underway. And we're going to see, in what is a very close session, what surprises lie ahead of us? And this should be an improvement that sees him get into the top 10. Is it? Yes, it is. He goes up to fourth place. Fourth place for Charles Leclerc, meaning that currently in the drop zone with two and a half minutes to go and one more lap to go are the two Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas, Nicholas Latifi and the two Alpines of Ocon and Alonso. Of course, Ocon winning the last Grand Prix in Hungary. But can Mercedes avoid a certain disaster of qualifying so low down compared to Red Bull, who are looking very strong right now, our Red Bull, as Sebastian Vettel currently in fifth place, driving very nicely after his disqualification, of course, in Hungary. Looking for a good, solid result going into the Grand Prix tomorrow. As he's got quite a skinny rear wing compared to the uh, other cars out there. He's come out behind Vettel. I think his teammate, I think. Yes, he has. His teammate's just come out of the pits. And Vettel is now... And now Vettel, well, he's on, he's on his lap. But thankfully, got through without really getting held up. And Vettel, with a bit of a slipstream... Setting a purple first sector. Four and a half tenths quicker than Verstappen. Oh, Vettel was so close to going off the track there at turn eight. He pretty much touched the white line. As Vettel now comes through and into Puan. Of course, is turn 10. In the dry, flat out. In the wet, no chance. As he now comes through. Turn 11, now into the entry of turn 12. As Lewis Hamilton, by the way, has started his final attempt in qualifying 
to make it into Q3. Never thought I'd be saying that. As Sebastian Vettel currently on target to go second or third with this attempt. As Vettel, now with 30 seconds to go, is coming through. Blanc Chimon. And now into the final chicane. He's looked very comfortable, I have to say, on this lap of Sebastian Vettel. Now comes to the line, does the four-time world champion, and he goes second. Brilliant there from Sebastian Vettel. Lewis Hamilton, purple first sector, but can he? Now with the session over, and Stroll, by the way, has finished up in ninth place. Stroll, I think, could really be at risk there, but getting knocked out because he's not been able to make the flag in time. That is a big problem for him there. As Hamilton... Has he got enough speed compared to the others to get into the top 10? He should do. And yeah, at the moment, he's actually two tenths quicker than Max Verstappen after the first two sectors. This is a lot more like it. As Nicholas Latifi jumps up to seventh place. They're in the drop zone now. Russell, Hamilton, Bottas, Ocon and Alonso as Norris goes up into first. Russell jumps up to fifth in the Williams. Williams in fifth and eighth at the moment as Lewis Hamilton runs to the line and Hamilton goes second. So Lewis Hamilton is in to Q3. A massive sigh of relief that is for Mercedes as Pierre Gasly Jumps up to third place. Valtteri Bottas now goes third. The Mercedes have avoided the disaster. There you go. And Esteban Ocon jumps up from 14th, I think, all the way up to 9th. So Ocon, at the moment, through to the next part of qualifying. Latifi is out. And Charles Leclerc's ended up in 10th place. Ricardo at the moment is in 12th. Ricardo now goes up to 9th. And both Ferraris at the moment are out of qualifying in Q2. Actually, they are. They are out. They've both seen the flag. And they are both out. Alonso now comes to the line. Alonso only goes 14th. And there you go. So knocked out. At the end of qualifying two, Charles Leclerc, Nicolas Satifi, Carlos Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Lance Stroll, Paul from Ferrari. But those are the drivers and teams knocked out from qualifying two here at Spa. Perez now joins the circuit. You can barely see down the pit straight through the camera there. That's how much rain is falling right now. As Norris takes a very tight line into turn one, which... Uh, Obviously, it's helping him. And yeah, a lot of standing water on the run. Oh, this is very heavy rain. Very heavy rain. This is... I, I will admit, I'm a bit anxious right now about this. And oh, no! Norris has had an absolutely massive crash at Eau Rouge. And I knew it's going to happen. Red flag. And yeah, Norris, thankfully, getting out of the car. He's fine. Finally, guys, qualifying three is back underway after a very long delay of what, half an hour or something like that. We are finally back underway, and hopefully the final eight and a half minutes, pretty much, will be uninterrupted brilliance from these nine drivers on the track. The nine drivers being now, of course, with Lando Norris out, Hamilton, Bottas, Gasly, Verstappen, Vettel, Perez, Russell, Ricardo, and Esteban Ocon. And go quickest, because he has, he is the first man to set a time, and does a 2 minute 1.5. So Lewis Hamilton currently in P1. Valtteri Bottas will go second. But will be over a second slower than Hamilton. Yes, one and a half seconds slower than Hamilton. So Hamilton on provisional pole. Max Verstappen with three and a half minutes to go. What can he do? As Sebastian Vettel goes up to third. Max Verstappen exits the final chicane. And he's nowhere near. Nowhere near Lewis Hamilton. A second slower on that lap. He goes second, but a second off the pace. Nowhere near Lewis Hamilton. And he's got to do a lot more in these final three minutes if he wants to get pole position for the first time 
here at Spa as Sergio Perez goes fifth in the Red Bull. What a poor lap from Sergio Perez. A poor lap really from both Red Bull drivers. As Sergio Perez, after the first two sectors, is half a tenth down on Lewis Hamilton. As Perez now comes into the final sector, which is mostly flat out. Through Blanchemont he goes. And now into the final chicane. And Perez hits the apexes nicely enough of the chicane. Painfully slow it is. And he comes to the line. And Perez goes second, half a second down on Lewis Hamilton. Got to say, Hamilton's final sector was something else. As Hamilton, now with less than a minute to go, begins his final attempt at securing pole position at Spa. As Lewis Hamilton, already through Eau Rouge and Radio, I think Verstappen, I think, no, it's Perez. I was going to say, I thought Verstappen was right behind him. It's actually Sergio Perez grabbing a bit of slipstream. As Hamilton, just under two tenths of a second quicker. As Russell has done a purple first sector in the Williams. That's uh, quite amazing. As Hamilton now into turn eight. And a bit skittish on the rear end on the exit. As he now comes through turn 11, the no-name corner as Esteban Ocon now goes up to P7. That's probably going to be, unless he's got any more fuel and grip, probably going to be his final attempt there. As they're just showing Russell on the left-hand side. And Russell at the moment is 1.7 seconds up on Lewis Hamilton. Purple Sector 1 and Sector 2 and the session now over. The final laps have now begun. And George Russell... Well, Hamilton now does a purple middle sector, but Russell absolutely flying in the Williams as he now comes to the final chicane in just a moment. Hamilton looks as though he's got possibly pole position here. Russell into the final chicane and now will come to the line. Can he get up onto the front of the grid? Yes, he does. He goes on to provisional pole position. George Russell at the moment on pole position. Verstappen barely up on the... Lewis Hamilton's time there. Hamilton second! Hamilton second! Russell! Russell's on pole! Russell's on pole, or is he? Because Max Verstappen is still to come through. He's coming through Blanchemont now. As Bottas is up to fourth. Hamilton is second behind Russell. Vettel goes third. Ahead of Perez and Bottas. Max Verstappen rounds the final corner and comes to the line. And gets pole position. Max Verstappen gets his first pole position at Spa Francorchamps. Fantastic for the crowd. Fantastic for the team. Fantastic for himself. Pierre Gasly now jumps up to fifth place. And I think that is all F1 wrote today in their little script. Max Verstappen on pole. George Russell second in the Williams. Are you fucking mental? Daniel Ricciardo now goes fourth in the McLaren. It's not over yet. And Ocon now finishes up absolutely in ninth. Wow. So I'll read it out again. Max Verstappen, pole position. George Russell, second in a Williams. Is this a dream? It has to be. There's no way this can be real. No, 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 no. How? How has he done that? It's not like he was on a better tyre. He's on the same tyre. Get that boy in a Mercedes right now. Right now. Forget next season. Right now. He just out-qualified Lewis Hamilton in the wet at Spa in a Williams. Do I need to say anything about anything else about why George Russell is one of the best drivers on the grid? What a man. What a man. So, I'll try and read out the order without just losing it over Russell in second. Max Verstappen on pole position. George Russell second. Lewis Hamilton third. Daniel Ricciardo fourth. Vettel fifth. Gasly sixth. Perez seventh. Bottas eighth. 
Bottas will start the race in 13th because of his grid penalty. The Ocon 9th, Norris 10th, and then Leclerc 11th, Latifi 12th, Sainz 13th, Alonso 14th, Stroll 15th, and then Giovinazzi, Sonoda, Schumacher, Raikkonen, and Mazepin complete the rest of the order. And guys, that is qualifying for the 2021 Belgian Grand Prix. I cannot wait for what is surely going to be an epic race tomorrow.